Good afternoon everybody, how you doing? It's me Paddy from Across the Shock and you're very welcome back to the channel. And I've got a lovely video today. It was going to be three unboxings but they were so well packed it would have took me a half an hour to do it. Now this was the unboxing knife which is very sharp and very good and it's done it all for me but it would have taken me ages and it just wouldn't have looked that good. So I scrapped that idea and I decided I'll just show you the three things that I've got. But while we're on the subject of this, this is the Vampire Jack the latest release from uh, Jack Wolf Knives. And this is nearly sold out now. Three of the, the variations have sold out. There's only two variations left. And I can't believe this is one of them. It is such a gorgeous knife. Um, really beautiful knife. There's two of these left. Honestly, if you're hesitant at all, and it's nearer the end of the month now, if you want to get in and get one, over at Frank at Framer Knives, I'll put that down below. Um, get over there and see the other variant that's got and there's three left in it and it is the all blacked out version which again looks stunning two versions i didn't think would be the last but you, you can just you can never tell on the night who's there but you know if you if you fancy this one go and get it because it is beautiful and they're all individual they're not all look the same but this is just a stunning knife it's a stunning knife full stop with that spear point, uh, you know, whatever you want, people call them pen blades or whatever. It's just a fantastic all round knife and will do your work. And please do not let this hump in the, in the center. This is the Vampire Jack with the coffin ends. It is so comfortable in hand. Go and check the reviews out there, people who have got it. It is beautiful. So there's that. And that will come back into play a wee bit later too. So what did I get? Well, I was on one of my wee local sites, one of my sites in the UK, and I seen this baby. And recently, I've had a, a real run recently of buying bayonets and things like that. It's not something I've ever been interested in, but like this hobby does, and I've been talking about it recently, it's really got me. And uh, this needs, it doesn't need any, it's absolutely beautifully preserved. It is the Ontario, let me just see, there you go. It's the Ontario Knife Company. Um, this is, I think this is the fifth, I'm not sure we use Americans, what way you do that. Is it the first or the fifth this was made? Um, I don't know when, I haven't a clue, so, but anyway, maybe that's just a serial number. But the titles that it gives it, it's a knife hunting sheathed survival pilot's knife. And again, I don't know too much about whether this was something Ontario, I know they're made for the military. Um, but let me just take this knife out. Look at this beauty. It is in really good condition because I take it, it doesn't look like it's very old or very uh, young, I would say. It's been well and truly sharpened and used. Not a bad edge on it. But this leather really needs some feeding and I'm going to do that. I'm going to give that a good soak in mineral oil and see if we can get some of the oils back in that again. Uh, it's very dry, very coarse, so I'll get that done. But it has this top bit. Now, Again, I'm going to be relying on people out there that know. Apparently, this is not a, a saw as such. This was for getting through the aluminium on a, an aircraft, on a plane. Um, you know, to cut your way out of the plane. I'm not too sure. I'm sure I heard that with Tobias or something like that. But it's a real, it's a carbon steel blade, which I like. Um, and it's a lovely shape. It's actually a nice looking. And it's not as heavy. This is a lovely pommel. It's just like a big bolt head. And it is so comfortable in my hand. You can see just how well it's a good, solid, big knife in your hand. Just a great beater knife for around a camp, uh, which is what I'll get, I'll be using it for. You know, rather than using my beautiful, uh, uh, what do I call that one? Can't remember. <laughs> my new, um, I'll just get it down, Stephen, and show people. Instead of using this one uh, to do any of the dirty works around the camp, um there we go this is the bark river bravo one which i just got recently and i adore i couldn't remember the name of it though so i'm not that bloody attached to it <laughs> but this is just another one for the collection i'm really happy to have it in the collection uh i'll do a bit of research in fact the research i'll do is go to tobias's channel because or even slick might have something like this or Warthog, I'll go to either of their channels, see who's one I can find first and do a review. In here it still has the wee uh, block for sharpening the knife, which is always handy. Um, I'll actually probably change that and put a, a, a diamond one in there. Uh, I think I have small diamond ones I can use for that, but 
absolutely lovely to have this in my collection and we'll do a review i'm not going in depth on any of these and now this is something i bought myself a richter knives slip uh, i contacted him said i would love one of his slips i've seen the slip he done for this knife here which is the jack wolf's knives equivalent of the sod buster a gorgeous knife absolutely just a just an EDC dream. This is really is an EDC dream. Now my favourite sod buster, which probably will like me to read. But he sent me one of his wee stickers, which is nice to have. And this is the slip. Look at this beautiful leather. It is so soft to touch. It is gorgeous. And look what he done. Uh, you're probably not going to see this, but he has put PPP on it for me. Absolutely beautiful. I love this little thin line uh, that he has put on the sheath. Uh, it's only on the front side. It's really light grey because I wanted it to go with the grey and the titanium. Just a, And this blue is just, you could swim in it. It's just gorgeous. Beautiful inside. And uh, it has the same, there you go. Can you see, just let me just look at this. You can see the larger um, cutaway on this side and the smaller on this side. And he has just done that on the sheath just to match this knife, which I think is fantastic. It fits in beautifully. Absolutely stunning. Uh, do you know when you hear of people's work and you're over in the UK and have to say it's, it gets very expensive. And it was. It was expensive for me to get it. But really worth it just to have one of Michael's uh, slips. I've heard so much about them. Uh, and he's going to come on the show soon and have a chat with us uh, just about anything you know anything and everything so i'm looking forward to him doing that we just have to arrange a time i know he's a working man and ours is a bit of a funny time uh over in the states but i just love that that is gorgeous but it'll not just do <laughs> i don't buy a slip for individual knives this is the one that's going to get carried probably the most out of all of them to be honest but this month's one the Vampire Jack fits beautifully in it. The Big Bro Jack fits beautifully in it. <laughs> My case with a funny pokey bit on it fits absolutely lovely in it and makes it easy to get out. Uh, My Ashley Harrison blue knife. I've got an abundance of blue knife. Fits beautifully in it. I don't know what it's like there. Oh, it does. Lovely. You can just squeeze it. And then another one of my custom knives, the MDK. Fits lovely in it. Come on, knife. So, it will be used on a lot of knives, but mostly it will be this knife that will go in it because I just adore that. And I really want to get some use on it and carry on it. It just to see what it comes out like. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. So, Michael, thank you for taking the bother. To post it over the UK. I know it can be a bit of a, a drone on. But, you know, it's one of them things. And I don't know whether Michael's going to do a whole lot of it. We'll maybe ask him when he comes on the show. But I'm sure if you contact him on Instagram, you just have to pay the extra postage. Do you know what I mean? It costs about $18 to post it over here. And then the cost of your slip, whichever that will be. And they're all different prices. So I'm not going to give prices out. But this is just an absolute beautiful. And having the PPP on it, Makes it very special, Michael. So thank you very, very much indeed. And now, the last of the three. And this is a knife. It's funny, Michael had just done a video on... Uh, I had ordered this, I think, the day before, or that night before I watched his video. Um, he had done a thing on knives that you let go, and then you have to have back again. Well, I've had quite a few knives like that over the time, as has Michael. And there's some that you just really really need to get back again um i just had the the experience with my uh what did i just get back i just done a what did i do what did i just get back i wish i knew what i was doing what did i just get back i just oh yes the bug out i've only just done the video on it yesterday the bug out i just got back again um and I'm so happy I've got it back in the configuration I've got it. To me, it's the perfect bug out. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Uh, I think it's just a video before this. Give it a quick check out. But I had a Spidey Chef a few years ago. I adored it. I used the life out of it. But 
as this hobby goes, I needed money for something, and it was one that you know you can sort of sell straight away. People will buy them, they want them. I loved the knife, and I have missed it every minute since it. So I just managed to get that back, and I am just chuffed. I just got it back today, just done a trade for it. There it is, the Spidey Chef. I have got it back again. And I got it. It was a trade. I traded, uh, what did I trade for it? I traded one of my custom knives for it. And uh, here it is, the Spidey Chef. This is not new and neither was the knife I trade. But he has a lovely uh, deep carry pocket clip on it, which is really lovely in the hand, I'll have to say. Listen to that positive click up in the hand. Beautiful. And I know this isn't ultra thin. But do you want to know something? I used this in the kitchen and I never once noticed there was a job that I couldn't do with it. I'm not a fancy chef. I'm a very basic chef. So that's all I need is a basic knife. There, there is a nice edge on it. Um, he has put a nice edge on it. So I can't wait to use this in the kitchen. This is definitely going to be a user or even a camp knife if we go camping with uh, Justin. This is something to do anything as a camp chore. Never mind cut up food, it'll do anything. It's got the LC200 blade steel on it. It is a gorgeous knife. And it looks like he's used it, but loved it. That's all it is. But he also had the scales tumbled and acid washed. And whoever done it made a fantastic job of it. It's really, really lovely. I really like it. And I'd forgotten, I must have been able, I must have got into the habit of spidey flicking it find a way to do oh there you go because i find it quite awkward because unlike a lot of the spider codes when you're a right-handed person look at this this is right across here which is just your lock bar on this side which i think they could have done something look it didn't bother me in the first time and it's not going to bother me now i'll open it like that 99 percent of the time to be honest i love it really genuinely love it i'm so happy to have it back in the collection and i hope that i won't have to sell it again so we'll do the reviews of them coming up three fantastic really looking forward to, to doing the reviews knees i want to get some use on this leather slip before i do the review that's why i wanted to show you it now it's going in my pocket right now so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed that uh, i hope you're looking forward to the reviews on it and uh, i shall see you very shortly for another video take care everybody bye bye